right guys so I'm out in the orchard and uh, did a little mowing with my brand new zero turn bad boy mower it's pretty awesome and uh, so for the first time I've it's a little easier for me to get around the, the chestnut orchard um, I was using a hand mower around all these things it took forever so I'm excited about that and um, I'm also putting in the uh, Dunstan chestnut seedlings that I took off of uh, a couple of these trees over here in uh, late, late September of last year. Cold stratified them. Now they're ready to go into back in the orchard. And uh, so I've already planted a couple. I just wanted to show you the process that I'm doing. Uh, thankfully, there's already an orchard here. And as a result, when trees um, over the years have died, mostly when they were younger due to bucks rubbing on them. That's pretty much what uh, happened. Although we had a bad drought last year. Uh, I lost a few trees, so who knows exactly what. And these are Dunstans, they're blight resistant. That doesn't mean they won't get blight, it just means they're resistant to it. So, you know, keep them healthy and, and hopefully they, uh, they survive longer. But we um, will go ahead and put um, 29 of these, I think I've got maybe 30 uh, seedlings in to fill some of those holes. I've got two that I've just done, and uh, I'll show you the process real quick. Can't forget my root inoculum. Now that'll get the whole, I guess that's a gallon. Nice slow drip, get all the way down on the roots. As you can see, I've done that for the last couple. All right, so we'll let that water in. I'm gonna go get the other 25 or so in after uh, this. Try to knock it out before the sun gets up too high and it gets too hot. All right, guys, here's where they came from. And here's what they look like. Got all the chestnut seedlings in. I ran out of tubes at the end, so I cut a couple down. That way I could just protect them until I order some more. But uh, happy to get it done. It's a hot day out here. And uh, can't wait for these little guys to grow up into some of the bigger guys, like this one right here that is loaded down with chestnuts. All right, guys, thanks for following along. We will see you next time. Deer season's two weeks away. I'm going after Nixon. Take care, guys.